and I'm Parsa. We were both diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease, and we are both members of the National Council of College Leaders for the Crohn's and Clyde's Foundation. And today, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. When most people think about Crohn's or colitis, they immediately think, oh, it's that bathroom disease. But what many people don't realize is that there's a huge psychosocial component associated with the disease. According to some studies, people with IBD are more likely to have anxiety and depression, and that's across all different groups, regardless of age group, gender identity, or ethnic background. And so that's why we decided to create the IB de-stressing wheel because everyone's different. What might work for me might not work for Amy. And so it's important to go over a few different coping mechanisms that you know really work for you and you can really use to calm yourself down and relax. And that's exactly why we asked some of our friends and family of their favorite suggestions of ways that they de-stress. And now we're about to check it out. Yeah, so we have a few coping mechanisms like yoga or meditation, journaling, cooking working out. And I really actually like the attend a support group one. I think for me personally, de-stressing as someone who has IBD, it's really awesome to be a part of a community of other people um, who also have the disease. So I think a support group is a really big one. And sometimes that's not possible or I'm not feeling too well. Um, and so visiting the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation's community website gives me that really great um, opportunity to have an online community. So let's spin the wheel. Face masks. Definitely not what I was thinking I would be doing, but I'm kind of excited for this. <laughs> well, I'm excited to see you try it out. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. There's actually a really cool DIY art project that I've been waiting to try. So this is good. Okay, well, let's get started. All right. Okay, let's get started <laughs> with these face masks. Okay, which one do you want to try? Coconut. Ooh. Ooh, let's go with the cucumber. cucumber. I like the cucumber. Sounds good. Should we just like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do know a lot of my friends, when they're stressed, they do try face masks, but I've been curious what the hype is all about. How's it feel? It feels pretty cool, actually, like a little cold. Nice. It smells good. <laughs> So while we wait for it to dry, do you want to talk about you know, your journal? I've been wanting to keep a journal, but I also really need to get a new planner. So I was thinking, why not just put the two together? So this is kind of like an all-in-one, like a food journal, planner, and a journal. So I have all the dates over here. I can just like write it in here. And what I love is that I have all these stickers here. So it kind of makes it pretty, it makes me less worried about all the studying. For example, I have a quiz here. So I'm gonna make sure to schedule in some study time the day before. I'm gonna make sure to eat right and pack a snack right before my exam because that's something I can never remember. But I figure, you know, if it's pretty, I'm gonna look at it and then I'm gonna remember. Okay, I think that's been 15 minutes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Are you ready to peel it off? Let's see. I know it's really normal to be confused about stress as it relates to my symptoms. I start feeling symptoms and then that stresses me out more and then I feel like I'm going into a flare and that causes more stress and then the cycle continues. So for me, I'm really glad to be able to try out different things and see what works to de-stress. Well, that was a lot of fun. How does your face feel? Very, very smooth. Good. <laughs> and I'm really glad that I was able to plan out my week in a way that helps me really focus on the different things that I can improve upon and things I can plan out. So thanks for doing this with us. Yeah, and thank you guys for joining us. Be sure to comment down below um, if you have any favorite IBD stressing tips or things that you want to be featured next video. See you next time. Bye.